الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد It's imperative as Muslims to always strive to give sadaqah and sadaqah there are various different ways in which we can give sadaqah to people meaning sadaqah meaning charity there are various types as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made clear for us there's various different ways that we can give charity and in the hadith عن جابر رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كل معروف صدقة أخرجه بخاري in this hadith Jabir رضي الله تعالى عنه said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said كل معروف صدقة that everything all righteousness is صدقة and this was narrated in Bukhari Imam As-Sin'ani Rahimahullah Ta'ala said Al-Ma'roof did Al-Munkar He said that Ma'roof It is the opposite of Munkar Ma'roof is the opposite of Munkar Meaning that righteousness is the opposite of what? Is the opposite of Munkar Meaning Sharr or, or evil and As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said In the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri Radiyallahu Ta'ala Anhu where the Messenger of Allah, he said, سَمِعْتُوا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ يَقُولُ مَنْ رَأَ مِنْكُمْ مُنْكَرًا Whoever amongst you sees a munkar, فَلِيْغَيْرُهُ بِيَدْ Then change it with his hand. إِلَىٰ آخِرَ hadith Until the rest of the hadith. And in that hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, munkar, change a munkar, meaning changing an evil. So Imam As-Sin'ani, uh, rahimahullah ta'ala, made clear for us, what is that the ma'roof is the opposite of the munkar. Qala ibn Abi Jamra Yatlaq ism al-ma'roof ala ma'arafa bi adillata shar' annuhu annuhu min a'mal al-bir so wa jarrad bihi al-ada um la fa'inna qaran fa'inna qaran tuhu al-niya أجر صاحبه جزما وإلا ففيه احتمال. طيب. A beautiful statement by Ibn Abi Jamra, who said that the term معروف is uh, in reference to everything which in the Sharia that has a, a, a Sharia adilla. And what is Sharia adilla? Sharia adilla is from the Kitab Allah, the Quran. Or the Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or Ijma as Salaf Salih, or Ijma, and then uh, after that a uh, Qiyas, and so everything that the Sharia considers to be good, that there's a dilla from the Sharia to be good, then this is known as Maruf in Arabic, or as an Islamic term, it is known as Maruf, that which has dalil from the Sharia. Then he said. Rahimahullah Ta'ala He said From all kinds of righteous deeds So it's muqeed by righteousness Of course, anything that has a dilla in the sharia That proves that it is something righteousness Or something from goodness This is known as al-ma'roof And then he said Regardless of whether that is considered ma'roof According to the urf or the ada, According to the habits of the people So ma'roof in Islam Is not constrained by the Necessarily the culture of a people Because for example in one particular culture Something, uh, a certain act or deed May be considered good In another culture it may be the opposite of that In another culture people greet People with bowing which is not permissible in Islam And that's considered respectful and righteous In that culture But in another culture that may be considered Something negative Etc. So this shows us that it is muqayyid, it is restricted by what? It is restricted by sharia adilla, that righteousness, al-bir, wa taqwa. This is known as, uh, or al-ma'roof, is in what is uh, described as ma'roof in the sharia. And then the imam mentioned, and he also said that uh, it is also that the niya, that one's intention must be related to that. That for example, otherwise the ajr, the reward for doing that righteous deed 
he said fihi ihtimal meaning that it's a possibility he may receive reward it's a possibility he may not so the niya is very important as we know the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam inna ma'amalu bin niyat verily actions are tied to the intentions and everyone shall get that for which he intended so that's imperative that we do our deeds with the intention to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in accordance with the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as that is the what that is the two uh, conditions for having our deeds accepted. The first is ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah. And the second one is what? Is following the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. So that is what is known as righteousness. And we'll end there. And bi'idhnillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with righteous deeds and forgive us of our sins and bless the Muslims everywhere to be united on kitabillah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa fahim as salaf as-salih radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'in wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.